Oh, well, this is a 2009 Mac Mini. <laughs> Not Mac Mini, uh, iMac, sorry. And we're running that DOS dude hatcher we got. That guy is amazing, but I'm not going to put big slur in it. This is a 500 gig hard drive. I'll show you what it's about in a minute. So this, it looks good. This is actually called the M, it's actually called the M Tony 90. So if you want to go find this uh, background, this is one of the coolest backgrounds I like. This is actually what it looks like. It looks really clean. Very, very clean. Look how it looks. It's actually in a dark mode. The operation system is really nice. But I haven't put anything on it yet. But I just gotta... I'll tell you where you go find this odd thing. That background. That's the background you can find. It's called Apple Glow by... M Tony 90. Now I'll put that in the description down below where you can get the background for free. This is one of my coolest backgrounds. It's been in my Mac Mini since 2009, uh, since 2010. That's the one actually. It's like a retro between the Apple look. It's one of the coolest backgrounds I had for a while. <laughs> if anybody wants to get this, I know where to get this. This is like one of the backgrounds I like. I recommend for all versions, but if you're a Mac nerd or something like that, like old retro Mac, that's the only thing I like. We're just gonna hit about this Mac. I'm gonna show you in a, we're gonna show you on one of the browsers we did Firefox a while ago. So look at that. Hope we can get some good shot of that. Mac. Catalina 10.5. It's actually the DOS 2 Hatcher. And I'm going to link his link down below where you get it. But it, I'll show you the video of the one that actually helped me. And we had to install this with a micro uh, USB card. I had to use a micro USB card to put it in the back of it and install this. I use a 32 gig micro SD card. You know, like the ones you get in your cell phones and everything. You put in all your, all your phones like that. The, it was like a class 8 or class 10, it was. I always use the class 10 micro SD card and use a USB adapter that go into it. So when I had this on L counting yesterday, uh, it was running fine. What was the problem with? I bought this iMac for $50 and she works really good like a champ. And I found out for the price for one of these they sell in my local area in Utah. Um, it usually goes for like $160 with a 160 gig hard drive, 20 inch iMac, same model I have. It's a 2.6 gigahertz, the 2.26 gigahertz, the same thing as my Mac Mini, 4 gigs of RAM. I probably want to upgrade the RAM. I want to put more RAM in this guy. And I can run a bunch of other hard drives in the back of the USBs or just upgrade the hard drive either way. The good thing about the hard drive, at least it's installed. And you can probably run a uh, SAT cable on one of these things. I need to know what kind of SAT cable it is. Probably that's what it is. Now you can run that in the background when you do your other installs on your Mac. But the cool thing about these Macs, uh, what I like about them, I didn't know you could run multi-operation systems, OS systems. You could probably put a lot of them in these things. It probably could do a lot more besides running... Uh, different uh, Mac OS systems, probably you can run Windows, Linux, Unix, Pi Pi and all that. I'm sure you guys have done a lot of that stuff all over the world on your Macs either way, but put the comments down below what you guys have done with with, um, with iMacs. I want to know all about that stuff. Tell me which, more about that, what you guys have done to successful. I'm sure you can, and I know you can probably run VMware Windows XP and all that. I ran Windows XP on my Mac Mini a while back, several years ago, back in 2010, and I had to use something like Sony Vegas to run um, green screen effects. But so far, I have not looked at anything that has video. But this one does not come. I don't know. If this one comes with like iMovie and stuff. I'll probably have to put ScreenFlow in this one for my video editing systems. But this is probably the basic stuff it has. But I haven't checked this whole thing out. It's got news, podcasts, music, notes. 
and it's probably what it has, but you need the basic stuff, but I probably would put a screen recorder in it. And that's the only thing I like about it. Screen recorders are the best thing to have. And if you and it just video adds your stuff, that's what I use you. My other one had iMovie in the um in the the Mac um I lost stand, but I was telling about the guy who did DOS pat um the DOS do patcher. Uh, let me know you guys can put some editing video software game things in here. I think he'll actually upgrade it later on to play around with it for a while, but this is a simple thing, but it runs really good. But it took me a while when I installed it, like three, an hour and a half or t four hours. I let it run for four hours, like you said. Like the guy says, um, usually the install takes one hour, half hour, or to four hours. And what happened last night, it got stuck in the Apple logo mode. When it does that, when it freezes up, not freezes up, when it, when it's not doing anything else at the end, sometimes... It does on certain Macs, but if it gets stuck on the Apple mode at the end, like when it's, when it's really complete done on the second boot or something, I think it was the second um, reboot or something like the guy was telling me. And when it got stuck, when it went, when the bar goes all the way to full on the last part, just wait for a while, then then just turn off your Mac and boot up back up like the auction mode and go to the hard drive that ran the that ran the the Mac you installed in for the Catalina and when I put it in there when I got the Catalina going it booted everything back up and it started the way no problems so I'm gonna link the guy's video the one who gave the idea of this the one who is called DOS dude he's fantastic but I will not recommend upgrade the big slur for a while until they fix all the things to it but a lot of people are saying these on group pages I've seen the other night some people said don't upgrade the big slur yet just wait for a while because they're fixing patches and stuff I know so anybody who has a 20 inch iMac from 2009 um, put Catalina but mine actually has the the 9.1 type Mac that's what I have I didn't have to went to select the selections like that thing that shows and I didn't went through all the selection like the 5.1 and stuff like that. It didn't show me that how to do that. It automatically put it in there. That's what it did. <coughs> and that's what it did. I didn't have to went through all that crap with the selections of the 5.1. It automatically found it. So it runs really good. And I had to do some adjustments on the brightness. The only problem with this iMac I got, this keyboard did not came with it. Because this is my original iMac, uh, my Mac Mini keyboard I bought back in 2009, 2010. And still works really good. I have to get another one of these keyboards. But it came with this nice mouse. But I had this giant keyboard from 2005 it shows an old Mac. The problem is the keys don't work very well on it. That's the worst problem I had. But this keyboard is the one that goes with my Mac Mini. I'll probably have to get one of these soon to find one. But probably want to upgrade some more hard drive to it. But it's pretty fantastic. I recommend anybody want to do the Catalina patch, just download it and see if it works for your Mac. But don't let your Mac go to waste. The good thing, you probably can run different uh, OS systems you want. But I'm very happy about it. And the good thing, I hope DOS do keeps it up to bring out more of the stuff for the older iMacs. Let them keep doing it. Donate some money to that guy. He's doing really good in that support the programmers out there. And I hope he does other beside program beside things like extensions and stuff. But I got this because um, to run my Facebook a little bit better and to get into all the other stuff. And it runs YouTube really nice. It runs YouTube very really quite nice and I'll show you in a second. But I don't want to play any videos. I'll show you what it looks like. But yeah, let's get on YouTube right now. I'll probably run one of my own videos. That's what I'm going to do. And let me go back to Foxman 362. That's me. Yeah, because the only problem with that. <coughs> I 
but listen how it sounds like this is really nice at least it runs a hell a lot better on Firefox but we got El Captain working I got this Mac for $50 on marketplace this guy did not know what he was doing okay so just we just did that and we're pretty good very good so this Mac runs pretty good I'll have to get a catch cleaner that's what I want to look for if anybody knows any good catch cleaners I'll probably have to get something like Onyx or something like that I'll have to go look for that for a while to get some catch cleaner so I need to find for one of these machines and it runs pretty good and also this thing has a camera built into it so I'm gonna let you go and I'll probably have to build up this thing for a while but it runs really good on this Mac OS, uh, this Mac 20 inch iMac from mid 2009, which it's actually, I'll show you the model of the number is. This is what it is. It's actually, um, I'll give you the description down below what the Mac is and I can show you what she is. It's actually the the Mac 91, that's the Mac 9.1 A1224, that's what she is. And it's actually, that's what the model is. It's the last aluminum model they made, they made back in 2009. But the only thing about this one, it doesn't have no Bluetooth. That's the sad about, about this thing, it does not have no Bluetooth in this device. But it runs really good on Catalina, very nice. And everything works really perfect on this older iMac. But when I, when I couldn't be for $50 that I got, like I told you how I got it working, and she works like a champ. So I'm going to let you guys go, and to all my friends out there, and to all the people out there on my channel, to everybody out there on YouTube, I'll be bringing out some more videos sometime soon. But this was actually one of my Christmas presents I got. So I'm glad my iMac is working, but I'm still running my Mac Mini this day and my other type systems with my Windows and my phone farming and all that. But I got this off of Facebook Marketplace when I bought this uh, iMac just two days ago, and that's what it is. All I have to do is take the screen off here, go inside. I have to get the 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 pressure uh, the the suction cups. I have to probably get something like that to pop it off to get into the fan so I can clean it. Been probably could put more um, hard drive to it later on or when I get time, but it runs pretty good. It's got a sat hard drive in it and it's running pretty good. But I'll probably have to put another hard drive in it soon. And at least you can run different um, OS Max the same way you want. But the good thing about OS Max, what I like about that, you can actually get a bunch of those hard drives and create a bunch of the same thing you do, like this one. And have them for backups, you know what I mean? Like external backups. Like you just, you could just swipe your hard drive and put another one in. And this machine's working good. I want to know if anyone out there can tell me if I can upgrade the processor to 2.93 gigahertz, what the machine has. Because I think you can upgrade the processor. Let me know if anybody knows how to upgrade the processor of this older iMac 2009. And I think that'd be quite good. I want to see if I get it up to 3, but. I think you could probably put it up to 2.93 gigahertz because if it's all that model display, what they said. And I'll put it down in the description down below. You guys can check it out. So you have a good day. I just want to show the iMac. Got for $50. Couldn't be the deal on it. And, it. and for this machine, people are selling these type of things right now with a Catalina. They're going for like $150 between $160 and probably $200 on eBay. A lot more. But the first thing I need, I want to see if I can upgrade the RAM. I probably want to upgrade the RAM a little bit more. And see if it runs a little better. But it runs pretty good. And it runs just like a new Mac. But yeah. So I'll catch you guys. Have a good day. Have a good week this week. And hope you guys stay safe from the COVID-19. And that's what I'm saying. Catch you all later.